Welcome to this channel. So this channel is for education and technology based on historic facts and uh, scientific evidence. So whoever not having a mindset of searching for truth based on historical evidence and the uh, science objectively and rationally please leave now do not continue watch this video because this is not for you <clears throat> so uh these few days many friends asking me to share on sparring or fighting and today i like to share with you A big picture so here on you see what is going on because it is very important for us to have a big picture so we know uh, the map and we know the directions now if we look at today's uh, traditional Chinese martial art, majority not everybody, but majority. The Kung Fu mindset is number one, assume that everybody have the same fitness or health conditions. Okay. So in other words, everybody is the same. Okay. Uh, one size fit all everybody's health condition is the same you can do it and uh, those type of stuff okay you just have to do the sets practice and so forth the second is learn techniques to fight so fighting is based majority on <clears throat> techniques you want to learn this technique that techniques so the animal style system, you want to learn the animal techniques and the Wing Chun, you have to learn the Tan Pong Fok and the entire world is Tan Pong Fok and the Tai Chi have their hand techniques, uh, their, their, all those kind of stuff. Okay, now, and then there are the secret or the oldest techniques from this grandmaster, this lineage style. Okay. So then you can get into this internal chi training, mind training, structure training. And then you have to do it slowly. And then uh, you might do some uh, physical exercise here or some uh, uh, physical training like uh, skip rope, punching heavy bags. Okay. And then uh, the mentality is violence, like you put hatred in your heart when you face your opponent, so forth. So this is how the typical general Kung Fu mindset. And you look into this, those who call the uh, good fighter in Kung Fu is either they are big fat guy or very big strong guy look at those who do in like in the push hand the competition or this big guy okay or they are strong and aggressive guy as for whether one see the techniques they learn here being used well usually if they really go to fight they will fight like a western boxer or fight random or fight like a whatever okay but not fighting with their staff not like a western boxers fighting in the western boxer way so this is how the so-called kung fu mindset <clears throat> we have everybody have to practice this set that set this techniques that techniques that's what in the mind now in the reality of the ancient chinese it is not this 
Okay. So today I want to share with you what is the reality. This is the reality. But this reality, most people in here do not accept it. So I can tell you an incident in Asia, an incident in Asia. So 2017, uh, Xu Xiaodong KO the Taiji Lei Lei. The end of 2017, I was in Asia, meeting with uh, many of my seniors, Kung Fu teachers, and uh, try to make friends. And many of those very experienced uh, uh, Kung Fu senior, they really are down to earth person. They agree with what I'm saying because they fought and, and so forth. However, when we got into one of the meeting, there's a Wing Chun guy stand up when I'm trying to analyze the EG Kamyong Ma, doesn't make much sense and uh, the putting weight behind doesn't make much sense. This person stood up in public, just telling me, telling everybody, I don't know what I'm talking about. And he walks up. Okay. So, I say that Wing Chun cannot do that. Now, so I come back to America. I start to write this book, Wing Chun Matrix. Because when people like in Wing Chun believe on this thing, you know you will get into big trouble. This is what we need to know. Now, so I released the uh, Wing Chun Matrix in the February of uh, 2018 on this thing, presenting this thing. Guess what? One month and 10 days later, the Xi Xiaodong KO the Wing Chun Ting Hao in China. Okay. Well, everybody know that. And so everybody keep their mouth shut. Okay. Silence. What well, if you believe on this kind of thing? Of course, there's nothing you can say. The reason why I wrote this is so that people understand. Based on the three classic of the the, uh, the the ancient Chinese okay uh, martial arts as before I presented that there is the four uh, very uh, uh, very uh, how to say that very precious uh, Chinese martial art classic Qi Ji Guang Tang Sun Zhi Shaolin Sword Strike and then the Chang family uh, book so based on the Tang Sun Zhi, uh, General Chi Ji Guang and the, uh, the, the Shaolin Substrike, I, I wrote this book with this content. The notion is, hey, wake up. You know, this is a dead end. Who are you facing? Xi Xiao Dong, a Sanda train, MMA player who is based on sports science. Okay. So this is very important, which is every Kung Fu uh, uh, practitioner need to know this. Okay. Wing Chun practitioner better know this. That's why I put it in this book. Now, 
The first thing of the training of uh, ancient Chinese martial art based on Qi Qi Guang, Tang Sun Zhi and the, and the Shaolin Sword Strike is externally you train your bone, sinews and muscle. You like it or not, that is the way. So if you look in the squat, that is the first thing you need to develop. Because squat help one to train how to handle one's body entirely and leg muscle. If one want to jump, one need to, 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 to train squat to develop those muscle. Otherwise, one, how can one dash out? And squat is going to uh, train cardio also. So like uh, right now, if you are in the S21 uh, group or you are uh, trying to learn or learning <coughs> the S21 by your own, you know that squat is not that simple. Okay, so that's externally you want to train your bone, muscle and sinews. And uh, no, you, you can replace this squat training or this entire training with a stance. Disregard of any kind of stance, you can because this is dynamic stuff and this is how to use your body, not other people's, how to use your body. And actually there are more things that besides squat. So uh, in the Wing Chun matrix, in the Wing Chun matrix, there are three. Squat is one of them. Oblique is another one of them. So all these three is for your your very basic externally trained bone muscle and sinews and they are in the S21 sets. Okay. So, so, so that's why in the Wing Chun matrix, it said that this is the chapter of uh, physical body awareness. You need to be aware of your body. The, the external. Now, if you look at this Kung Fu mindset, usually, it's based on Sifu says, under the externally trained the bone muscle sinews, there is no proper knowledge there. When people talk about spine power, spine bowl, you know there's problem. Okay? Like your, your, you curve your, your spine like a, like a bowl or straighten, you know there's a problem. And also, there is no uh, proper development there. As I mentioned yesterday, even like a squat standing in the hot stand, today people just lock the heck out of uh, their, 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 their lower part of the body. They thought that, that those are training. Those are not training. How can you jump if you lock your body? If you cannot jump, how can you push your body out? How can you have your entire body become one piece? Because you need to move. How can you have a, a, a solid core, stable core? So this is all problem. We need to see the full picture. You cannot have a, a partial thing and thinking, oh, I'm training Kung Fu like here. Or you learn some techniques, you'll be able to fight. Sure. The, 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 teach, the student always uh, 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 how to say that? Always uh, 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 follow what the Sifu's demonstrations. And bigger guys always beat the small guy. And um, aggressive guy always uh, beat the not aggressive guy. So, so you don't have this. But if you look at Xi Xiaodong MMA training height, they have their functional training, right? 
functional training. Look at the MMA. And in fact, the ancient Chinese have already said that externally train your bone, muscle, and sinews. But if we just keep in repeat that, we don't know the content of it, like uh, the very basic squat and oblique. What are we doing? Okay. So, so in the uh, typical Kung Fu mindset, you don't have that. That's the problem. That's why right now, like in the S21 group, many old timers, friends, due to do not see the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the details of it and don't know the sports science part of it, need to continue to learn. Everybody know, everybody is self-motivated uh, because we know what's going on. We need to improve. If not that, what are we going to do? Now, that externally train the muscle, bone, and sinews is just like a transmission gear stuff of your car. You need the combustion system, which is the engine. Okay, so that's the internal. So in the Chinese Kung Fu, we say that internally you train your breathing. Now, this is a big topic. This is almost, you can see in Chinese Kung Fu today, void, a void, empty. This, the, the entire thing is empty. In, but in fact, this is extremely critical. Now, So in the uh, Chinese Kung Fu, ancient Chinese Kung Fu, okay, they will have number one is develop the natural low abs breathing, the natural low abs breathing. And then they need to do the recovery breathing. And then on the other hand, after they have this handle, go to the uh, training breathing. So those are for the fighting and for the taking impact and so forth, so forth, or create the uh, uh, intra-abdominal pressure handling, core stability, all sort of stuff here. Okay. So this breathing are different. Okay. Now, this training on this uh, the, the 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 for the taking impact and those uh, fighting training. It is not for everyone, face it. Because our body, our health are different. Say I'm 60 something years old. Say I was born with a diabetic type one. There are many things here I cannot do. Or even I can do the durations I can do is not I, I, I must not exceed my limit or overload. The minute it happened that I keeping overloaded, you know, is my, my, my head will be damaged. Okay. And this is very manipulative. It's not natural at all. So without knowing this, if you jump into this, it's asking for a problem. That's why the Chinese say it is, you'll cause internal injury. And you can see today many sportmen, athletes die young. It's because of this. You can keep in pushing it, but if you do not know on the recovery or the healing side and get into a natural proper way of breathing let the body recovery keeping long term in that is extremely problematic bruce lee is in that category okay so we need to be careful hey you have only one body you have only one life you have one family okay Until this is properly sought out, do not go do this way. 
Sure, in the world, there are many people who are strong, talented, born, capable. They can do that, jump into do this. Okay, and uh, however, many of them, you can see the athletes and so forth, still, when they get old, they have all kinds of sickness. So you have to pay a price to, 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 to go doing those fighting, taking impacts, those kind of training due to the breathing stuff, heart problem and all sort of stuff. So this part, this beginning part, I put in the uh, Wing Chun matrix. I put in the Wing Chun matrix so that people have a, a small taste in it. Okay. You need to develop that. You need to know your body and know your breathing before you can get that. Otherwise, we, we are not aware of what we are doing. We just brute force it and we think it's okay, but uh, it is not okay after a long run. Today, we know that if the training is overload, by spot signs that the body can be damaged, injury, cause injury. Okay. Now, actually, after this, after I wrote this, the reason why I wrote the uh, Wing Chun Inception is to present the recovery part of the breathing, which is the N1 process. The, 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 the notion is that in my life of uh, practicing this martial art of researching, when I was young, I always uh, afraid of hernia because there's so many people who have hernia. So I, I try to understand what is going on here. And there are people who die young in, in a, within my teacher who who is uh, practicing this hardcore training every day they are not healthy they die young so i investigate on this and then uh, do this but then after i wrote the wing chun matrix i found out that 99.999% of so-called internal Chinese Kung Fu, whatever, don't know about this recovery. And we know that it's a kiss of death if we don't even know how to rest our body and the mind. You can keep in talking philosophy, Tao, Tai Chi, Yin Yang, and all those nonsense. But if you don't know how to bring your body into recovery, state what if one get injured here what if one get overload here so that's why i wrote the uh, wing chun inception and inside there you can see what the ancient teaching and i put it the with the, uh, the, the the spot signs and you see that even today at every time i still have all this this the this tracker and gadget with me because those things is with the, the the body you don't want to mess around especially right now medical cost is really high and uh, when we are young don't screw the body up Okay, I have no choice. I'm born with diabetic type one. I have no choice, and 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 if you look at the uh, the the report today, the lifespans of the diabetic type one is what, sixty six or sixty seven year old. So 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 we need to know how to take care of this body. So that that's why that's that's why I got I got this uh, Wing Chun Inception because for whatever training 
for heaven's sake, don't blow your own body. If you blow your own body, who's going to take care of you when you're old age? On with all this high medical costs and and so forth. I concern that too because I go get oh I'm I get sick right. So 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 this is the 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 really important informations here. You need to know that the, the the training type of breathing, the recovery type of breathing, and the natural breathing they are not the same. You need to be able to handle this. It's not just breathe as everyone. Uh, one size fit all. Everything is uh, internal. If you use your mind, your chi, and everything, have no idea on this breathing at all. And one other thing too, the reason why I get deep into the six healing breath is because it scared the hell out of me with all this disease and sickness at old age. And all, also this internal uh, injury stuff. That's why I read the, the ancient classic. The more I read it, the more I, it scared the hell out of me. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm learning it. That's why I research on it. Okay, not not just get a, a grandmaster name behind me and then gonna sell the thing. No. It is about how can one live? How can I live under my conditions? So that I don't trouble other people and I can live better until the day I leave this planet. So martial arts have nothing wrong. The issue is that one need to know this. And there's a reason why in the S21, you have all those external and internal things built in. But you need to get that thing done first before this. So when you get to holding breathing, that is here. Okay, don't hold any breathing if you don't know how to do it properly because it, it increases your inter abdominal pressure and then you don't know what it's going to do with your cardio you know, based on your body weight and based on your health situations. Here is natural breathing. You don't, you don't mess around with the breathing. You let the breathing go by itself. This is get into even you, 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 you let go of the breathing and the mind so the entire thing uh, be able to function by itself. Okay, so this is important. This is second. Now, only when one have the external training this and then this have the training of this. Okay, the, the, the impact and fighting, one can get into the momentum. Now, like me today, 60 something, am I going to do here? Of course not. Like uh, I'm, I'm measuring my VO2 max. I might have to do some kind of drastic uh, running and so forth. But even those, once I know where I am and so forth, I just, I just, I just put it aside. I do it because I need to walk my talk. But am I going to do it? Once I know that, while well, I'm aging all the time, of course not. I'm only doing anything which is fit to my health. There's, there's nothing to show off or uh, nothing to, 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 to think that, oh, I want to be the best. I want to beat the world and, and, and no. The body is our limitations. So we need to know the boundary conditions, what we can do, what we cannot do. That, and again, that's why all this is with me. When I, when I see that something is not, uh, or I, I load myself too much, I go into here. Okay. Now, for the young and the healthy, even if it's old but it's healthy, one can go to here. The momentum handling. While well, the bottom line is speed, power, continuous attack. You want to talk about fighting? It is this. And then the handling of the four momentum zone.
And in this chapter, uh, in this book, the Wing Chun Matrix, actually, I have a chapter. It's uh, chapter 7, Impulse Momentum Realization. This entire chapter is the basic of fighting. If one wants to have fight, one better know this, what is in this chapter. The momentum and there are all sorts of stuff. There are four criteria in this here. <clears throat> so uh, one simply need to uh, need to know this how to handling the body, the, the, the body and the breathing and uh, the, the the momentum handling. And uh, you have all kinds of uh, strategy and so forth of handling momentum. So, so I come back from Asia. I wrote this book. I release it because I, you know, it's a technology. You look at when uh, when when Xi Xiaodong take down the Tai Chi, you know, it's going to something is going to happen and of course we don't want Wing Chun to get 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 into trouble but in the uh march of uh 2018 you see that Xi Xiaodong defeated the uh, the, the the Ding Hao so again as what well, i in Asia if you are keeping have this mentality, don't know about this external, don't know about this internal, don't know about this momentum and four momentum zone, where you have to fight in the long range shot, um, shot uh, the, 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 the short strike, and then the takedown, and then the, the, the ground zone. What are you doing? The Kung Fu is not more than today's in general the kung fu is not more than belief belief on this grandmaster that grandmaster i go watch a movie or oh, this grandmaster that grandmaster believe it's like religions plus some simple exercise you want to stand down there and then uh, get your internal power and everything and then when you when you fight you need to be violent so today's chinese kung fu is not more than this what what kung fu is there this is ancient you want to look at the mma or the modern judo training you see they have functional training here they have some training here even though today's uh sports science did not get into here deep yet but some days it will come however it will have a very good training here, have a very good training here. How is this type of thinking? Oh, my grandmaster is uh, advanced than you. You have never learned anything. You don't have Kung Fu. Compete with this. Are you serious? So those type of talk is like a, the, 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 when the Qing government try to, uh, the Qing government wage war with the, uh, the Western uh, country and, and Japan, thinking that their mantra, their chi can, 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 uh, what, can uh, stop bullets. Well, they have no idea on what is going on. So, so that's why, again, in this book, I map the ancient into physics, which is momentum, which is momentum. So this is what is in this book. I have a snapshot of uh, the ancient classic, ancient teaching, snapshot of the, the, the external, the internal, and the momentum. And publish it in the 
and uh, I I'm not a fortune teller, but uh, 2018 March, about one month and ten days after I released this book, the 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 incidents of Xi Xiaodong and the Wing Chun thing how happened, and you can see in the history that that uh, after that happened, the entire Asia. You got many people who are challenging Wing Chun, including saying that you guys practicing uh, the Wing Chun wooden army is might as well go just beating the uh, CPR training army. In the in the in the, <coughs> in the news. So this is what I like to share with you. So to take back, you need to have this. Okay. To take back, you need to have this and be really careful. <clears throat> if we are not belongs to here, to go for further, don't. The body, the life, the family, the kids, the father, the mother, the, 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 the spouse is more important than fighting. One can get here, have a, some taste, but no one's limit. Okay. Not everybody can be a warrior. And so what? Not to be a warrior. One can be a monk. See, is Buddha is provoking fighting? No, right? <clears throat> so you in the China, you have General Chi Chi Guang. Also, you have the uh, the sixth patriarch of Zen. <clears throat> different people is uh, born for different purpose. This is knowing this is good for health and know how to handle one's body. So that's the martial art teaching of the ancient. Uh, on one way, strengthen one's body. On another way, be able to defend oneself. So this is this is the bottom line. So so this is what this is intended to, and I add on here because. This part is really critical. So this is what I'd like to share with you. You see, like uh, if you if you <coughs> watch, uh, if you read, say, people review my book in Amazon, like just a month ago, Somebody say, well, Hendrik, you are pushing your uh, 1850s Wing Chun lineage and everything, everything. Well, I can tell the entire world, market in history, I have no interest <coughs> in to, to become a grandmaster. I have no interest to push the, the, uh, the, 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 the 1850s Wing Chun. My interest is very simple. This is the reality, as what I'm telling those in Asia before Xi Xiaodong KO Ting Hao, the, the Wing Chun guy. Thing will happen if we do not change. <clears throat> in Kung Fu, we need to know this. So my agenda is so that more people know what is the reality, not to get into trouble. And of course, it is going to uh, not like by people who think this way. But that is uh, their mentality. I am just like a, a scientist doing research and you found out that, okay, this is the, the issue, and then you tell the world. As who want to be a grandmaster, who want to promote what lineage, there's nothing to do with me. It's like, you want to start any company, there's nothing to do with me. My is just going to research into what is going on exactly there. So that's why, if you read the uh, Wing, Chun in, uh, Wing Chun Matrix, In the uh, preface here, the quote, I quote the Neon's quote in the matrix. I don't know the future. 
I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it is going to begin. You need this to begin. You cannot have this. Okay? And I don't know the future. And also at the end, a Wing Chun matrix, I put the, the code of the movie. And he said that here, when he found me, he told me I wasn't really looking for him. I was looking for an answer. It is the question that drives us new. It's the question that brought you here. You know the question just as I did. So I'm not looking for who's grandmaster. We all have a question. Why is traditional Chinese martial become like this today? And what is the reality? That, that's the notion why I'm, I'm, I'm getting into this. And once I found this, since I'm a human, since I'm educated in a free world, it's time to let everybody know. What, there's no point to screw everybody. It is better that everybody live better.